Luke here with catsandcarp.com and I'm doing the 300 pound catfish challenge. Woo! I'm watching the sunrise on this beautiful fall morning and it's time for an epic catfishing challenge. I'm going to do the 300 pound catfish challenge. Now what this is, is I'm going to catch 300 pounds of catfish. But not just any old 300 pounds, I want to catch 100 pounds of channel catfish, 100 pounds of blue catfish, and 100 pounds of flathead. Not a massive flathead, but I will take it. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful flathead. Feels like he's, you know, maybe 15 pounds. All right, I wanna weigh the total weight of fish that I caught, so I'm gonna use this keep net here. So check this out. We're gonna put him in the keep net. There we go, there's a hit. This cheap piece of crap rod holder is just creaking and bending. Oh, let's get it out of there. Hey, why don't you hang out here? I got, to, I got a friend for you. It's a beautiful channel catfish, and you can always tell a channel catfish because the anal fin is rounded and the tail is forked. Blue catfish have rectangular anal fins. Flathead catfish don't have forked tails. Let's get him in there with his friends. You on there? You on there? Yeah, you are. Another fat channel catfish. Oh, we got a double. We got a double. We got a double. I better put this one away. Oh, triple, triple. We got a triple. First come, first serve, people. Catfish have been out hunting all night and they're now starting to settle down into their little holes and stuff like that. As this sun comes out, starts to hit the water, it's gonna start shutting things down. Oh, little baby one. Look at this little baby channel catfish, still has his spots. You don't see too many baby channel catfish out here. A 20 or 30 pound flathead would suck this sucker down for an easy snack. But he still counts. Well, I'm all out of bait and it's time to go to work, so I'm gonna pull the keep net up and weigh these fish. I think we got a few. Whoa. is 39 pounds all right here we go well 39 pounds of channel catfish and 14 pounds of flathead not a bad way to start but i'm out of bait and it's time to go to work so i'm wrapping this party up and getting out of here um, yeah. Would you like to go fishing tonight? Yeah, maybe once I go to preschool, I guess. Well, once you're done with preschool? All right, I'm gonna go to work, you go to preschool, and then let's go fishing. Well, my appointments for the evening canceled. I'm done with all my work. I don't have court till tomorrow morning. 
I think I need to go fishing. Woo! Let's go fishing! We're going fishing! <laughs> I'm on a new spot here. I am on a shelf where it goes from about 13 feet and drops down to about 22 feet. This shelf runs a long way and there's a lot of bait fish around. So I'm hoping I can catch some big flatheads. All right. Oh, that was a big hit right there. Well, you went and hit all the way over there. Just... Nathan, you ate a lot of chocolate pokey. Oh boy. Oh, looks like we've got another fish here. There you go, Tommy. Reel him in, buddy. Oh my gosh, he popped up. Oh, he did? Well, this spot's been interesting. We've had three fish on, about half a dozen bites, but I lost all three fish. And one of them was a blue catfish, which I really needed for this challenge. So we'll see what happens, but uh, might be a good spot if I can get my act together. There you go. Oh, oh, no. oh, he is all tangled up. Well, it's seven o'clock. The sun has set and we need to get these little boys to bed. So we're going to pull up our keep net and see how much uh, fish we have in the keep net. One and two. Nineteen pounds. So these two channel catfish are nineteen pounds. Two nice big boys. There we go. All right, so we got nineteen pounds of channel catfish. Not great, but not bad either. That puts us at about 58 pounds of channel catfish, 14 pounds of flathead. Well, it's day two of my 300 pound catfish challenge and I have wet my pants. Oh. I clipped it to the wrong part. <laughs> Man, I've got to remember to attach the rope next time I launch my boat. That's that's important. I have zero blue on the board, so big blues. That's what we want. So I'm using uh, fresh uh, shad. A lot of them are live. We're gonna see what uh, that catches any because uh, blue catfish love, love, love shad. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that drag getting stripped. Oh, he's sure fighting like a flathead. Oh, look at that rod. Woo! Woo! Let's give him a little break before we pull him out and weigh him. Oh. Oh. Woo! That is a proper fish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's weigh this sucker. 38 pounds. Oh. Look at that 38 pound flathead. What a beauty. All right, we're going to get him back in the water. 38 pounds plus 14 pounds from yesterday, that's 52 pounds of flathead. So I'm more than halfway through my flathead portion of the challenge. I need to get some blue catfish up on the board. Get him up, get him up, get him up off the bottom. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Another huge flathead. Let's let's weigh this sucker up. He feels like he's low 30s. 30 30.1. 30 that is a good looking flathead. Look at that. That's why they call them flatheads right there. Look at that head. Oh, 
All right, I think we're gonna knock this out today. We need one more flathead. Oh my goodness, I had a double and I didn't even know it. I throw that fish back and I look up and my one of my rod lines is slack. Oh, oh I think I got another big flathead. Oh, oh my goodness, he has not given up. Oh, come on. Where's that net? Oh, another massive flathead. I've been here 15 minutes. This is my fourth one on, third one landed. Oh. 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 Woo! I think this one's just a little smaller than the last one. Oh. How's that for being the smallest flathead of the night? I came so close to forgetting my scale. Likely I had this backup scale on me. 24.3 pounds. Not too shabby at all. Woo <laughs> bad channel catfish. I was hoping it was a blue, but it's a nice channel catfish. Not too bad at all. I'm really pleased how this trip turned out. For a couple hours of fishing on a Monday night, this, this has been really great. And I've got work tomorrow morning, so I better get going. I'm going to weigh up these channel catfish, and uh, we're going to see, uh, see what we got. 15.5. So we'll call that 15. Well, 15 pounds of channel catfish, 94 pounds of flathead catfish, 109 pounds total. Not a bad, not a bad time for a weekday night after the kids went down. All right, I'm gonna go home, get warmed up. <laughs> it's a little cold out here, especially with the wet pants. <laughs> Well, I just got done at court and now I'm at the doctor's office getting my hand checked out. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but my hand is covered in catfish bites. A lot of them have gotten infected. And uh, I had a, a friend of mine who just had a mini stroke because of an infected thumb. So I figured, hey, my hand's still uh, swollen up a little bit. I, uh, I'm gonna get myself some gloves and I'm gonna go see the doctor. Well, I've got two types of antibiotics and a set of gloves. I'm ready to go fishing some more. Let's do this. Well, it's day three of the 300 pound catfish challenge. It's about 8.15, 8.30, put the kids to bed, and I'm sneaking off to go night fishing. And when Tommy saw me getting ready and found out I was going night fishing without him, he freaked out. Love you, buddy, but I'm going fishing. <laughs> No, Tommy, I'll take you tomorrow morning, but tonight I'm going fishing. <laughs> Don't feel too bad for Tommy. He's going fishing with me tomorrow morning, so he'll be okay. But tonight, I really need a big blue catfish. I've got zero blue catfish up on the board. All right, using the same bait, same rigs as last night. I'm getting lots of bites, but I'm just not getting what I need. No blue catfish so far, and all the channel catfish are kind of runty. I'm getting a lot of bites with few hookups, so that tells me there's a lot of small catfish out there. Twenty pounds. Well, twenty pounds of channel catfish puts me seven pounds away from completing the channel catfish portion of this challenge. 
but I still have zero blue catfish and this is killing me man we don't have a ton of blue catfish in this body of water so man I knew it was going to be a struggle but this is this has been rough hopefully tomorrow knock on wood we can catch some blue catfish so we'll see what happens all right it's day four of the 300 pound catfish challenge and I need some blue catfish Oh, my little boy fell asleep. <laughs> well, I'm sitting in a pretty little spot here. I've got about nine feet of water off the back of the boat and about 20 feet of water off the front of the boat. So I'm sitting on the top of a, a sloped uh, trough. And this allows me to throw a spread of rods all along this edge. So I'm gonna hit deep into the trough. I'm gonna hit the far side of the trough and I'm gonna hit along my side of the trough and try to spread the bait out and see if we can't pick up some big blue catfish. You always want to make sure that there's no uh, scales on the point of your hook. That'll really mess up your hook set. Oh, nice fish. Oh yeah, come on, bend over. Oh, he's running around good. There you go, another big fat flathead. 33 pounds, 33 pounds. All right, 33 pound flathead, whew. These are fun to catch, even when you're looking for a blue catfish. Oh, look at that. All right, here we go, buddy. I really need some blue catfish, man. We're just gilding the lily at this point. I don't need any more flatheads. Okay, let's see if we can't catch some blues. Look, I caught this channel catfish in the exact same spot I hooked that 33 pound flathead. Now let me ask you this. Do you think this would fit inside that catfish's mouth? Yeah, this, this little channel catfish would be a very nice meal for a flathead. All right, let's put him in the bag. Sixteen pounds of flatheads. That's forty-nine pounds. Forty-nine pounds of these bad boys. All right, and he's gone. All right, in the bag it goes. Okay, I've caught two flatheads and what four channel catfish, and he is still sound asleep. Hey, buddy. Okay, I thought Nathan was waking up, but instead he just keeled forward and hit his face on the steering wheel of the boat and went back to sleep after crying a little bit. 20 pounds, 20 pounds exactly. That is a nice one. Whew. All right, 69 pounds of catfish in about an hour, 15 minutes. Not too bad, but it's time to move on. Things cooled off and you can't blame it. I mean, how can you take 69 pounds of fish out of one spot and expect it not to cool down? You know, it's just, it's gonna happen. So let's go find a different spot, see if we can't get on some blue catfish. belly on that bad boy. We're gonna put him in here. <laughs> Got a little flathead. Okay. Ah. Oh, 
fucking eel swallowed a 10 odd circle hook. <sighs> Eels are one of the toughest fish I know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a blue cat. Oh, finally. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I've ever been this excited to specifically catch a blue catfish. 28 pounds. 28 pounds. Between the eel and this fish, this gloves are so slick I can't get them off. All right, it's time to get this little guy to bed. So uh, let's weigh up the channel catfish and the uh, flathead we caught and let's see what our total is for the day. That's a 12 pound channel catfish. All right, little five pound flathead. Bye bye. All right, it's time to get Nathan to bed, but at least I got some blue catfish on the board. Got all my channel catfish, and got all my flathead and some. Now we need to get some blue cats. Well guys, it's day five of the 300 pound catfish challenge, and I need some blue catfish so bad. I've got fresh shad, uh, live shad on all my rigs, so I might pick up a flathead or some channel catfish too. We'll just see what happens. Oh man, I'm just getting a hit right there. Look at that. All right, let me talk you through uh, where I'm at here. I'm actually parked on top of about 20 feet of water and I've got a really deep channel. It's about 25 feet deep. It goes out here, curves kind of in front of the boat and then it gets shallow out here. So off to the right, we've got about 10 feet of water. Most of my rods are in deep because that's where I think the blue catfish are gonna be. And I've got, um, this couple logs sticking up and those are actually in 20 feet of water so those go all the way down there's a big uh, sunken log right down here and so I've got one uh, one rod the one that just got a bite right on right by the base of the wood and uh, I saw on the sonar a whole bunch of signals of small channel cats right here on the edge of this so uh, we'll see Another big, beautiful flathead. I love them. It's 21 pounds. 21 pound flathead. Okay. There we go. Nice fish. Oh man, let's see what we got here. Oh. oh. I'm gonna put this sucker in uh, my keep net. Catfish, we'll get him in the back. All right. Oh. A feisty, feisty 24 pound flathead. Not too shabby. Let's get him back in the water. Doing plenty good on flatheads tonight. Alright, there we go. So, there you go, nice channel catfish. Gonna put him in the bag. Oh, got another one right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. a big channel catfish. That is a nice channel catfish right there. Man, that thing just pounded that bait. That is another fat channel catfish. Okay, I'm gonna put him. Oh. And another double.
another beautiful channel catfish. Well, I'm out of bait and my keep net is so full, I don't think I should put any more fish in it. So uh, I think it's time to call it. Uh, I got here about 6.30 and uh, it's nine o'clock, so two and a half hours. Uh, let's uh, weigh up our fish and see how many channel catfish we got and I gotta weigh up that other flathead. Man, let's see. Oh gosh, oh gosh. This is gonna break. There's two channel catfish. Three channel catfish. Gotta hang out back here. There's Nemo. Oh man, that sucker's big. There's that boy. There's another channel catfish. Uh, they're not gonna fit in here. Seventy-two pounds. Oh, seventy-two pounds of catfish, folks. Seventy-two pounds of channel catfish. Nine fish. That is an impressive average. Look at those two beauties. Those suckers are gorgeous. All right, let's put them in. Gotta weigh this flathead. Twenty pounds even. Another beautiful flathead, 20 pounder. Smallest flathead of the night. This puts us somewhere around 65 pounds of flathead and 72 pounds of channel catfish. So about 135 pounds of fish in uh, two and a half hours. People ask me why I catch and release, don't keep the fish. Just caught 132 pounds of catfish in two and a half hours. Man, what am I gonna do with all that meat? going on back here <laughs> you're a little late to the party buddy now let's figure out how much he weighs four pounds four pounds and channel catfish number ten. Ten channel catfish three flatheads what about 139 pounds I'll have to look at the video to make sure my math's right but not too bad not too bad but no blue catfish all right, it's day six of the 300 pound catfish challenge. All right, buddy, you excited to go get some big blue catfish? Yeah, let's do it. There's nothing in the world like an outboard motor to put a little boy to sleep. I don't know what it is about this spot, but as soon as I anchored up, I didn't like it. Just don't got a good feeling about it. I think I'm too shallow. Well, there's a bite. We'll see what happens. If I uh, get into some good action, I'll stay. But I'm giving this 15 minutes. Only had one bite that didn't hook up. So man, I think we should get out of here. Well, if you aren't succeeding, don't keep doing what you're doing. So I'm in a brand new spot. I don't know where the blues are. I just know they're not where I've been fishing. I've got uh, a bunch of structure and about 20 feet of water. I'm worried this might be a high snag area. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, but. About 30 and a half. We call it 30 pounds. Yeah, what a nice fish. Hey Nathan, you're up. Oh, hey, your boots came off. <laughs> you want me to put your boots back on? Yeah. Yeah. You like that cake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, me and Nate landed a 30 pound flathead and a peanut butter cupcake. Oh, just got a bite here behind me, but it's been pretty quiet. I've gotten two hits 
and a fish in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna sit here and if it doesn't pick up in a little bit, I'm gonna move. But this one is moving just a little bit. But check this out, this is a flathead bite. I'll bet you dimes to dollars that's a flathead messing with it. They just kind of peck at it. So, all right. Yeah, kinda. Are you there? Oh. oh, sorry, buddy. 28 pounds. Just two pounds smaller than that other guy. All right. Whoosh. Gentle cat. All right, we're gonna weigh this guy. He is three pounds. Picked up one flathead on one of the sunken logs, and I picked up the other flathead on the other sunken log. It's been about 45 minutes, and I haven't really seen much of anything other than those two bites. So I think we picked up all the fish there is to pick up in this spot, and I wanna get out of here while I still have some light so I'm not anchoring up in the next spot in the dark. Just anchored up on spot number three. So hopefully there's gonna be some blue catfish here. Knock on wood, we'll see what happens. I've been in spot number three for 15 minutes and I've got one measly little bite. That's it. We're out of here, man. Well, I just anchored up on my fourth spot, about 20 feet of water uh, on top of a brush pile. And uh, the wind just started kicking up. So that's gonna make our lives interesting. Cause the only thing I love more than pulling anchor four times in one night, wind. Uh. Well, it is windy and it's cold and it's past Nathan's bedtime, so it's time to call it. We need to get going home. All right, it's day seven of the 300 pound catfish challenge and the real challenge today was getting the engine started, but I did it. And now it's time to get out and get some blue catfish. Well, with winter arriving and the water temperature dropping about 15, 20 degrees since my last video, big changes in the fishing patterns. And you can see here, this area used to be full of shad. Everywhere you look, shad. Not a single bait fish. That's the clue, man. Follow the bait fish. The bait fish aren't here anymore. Neither are the catfish. You want cookies? Okay, I'll get you some cookies. There you go, school of shad. You know it's the top of the school is right around 10 feet. All right, here's another big school. You know it's right at 10 feet. That's it. All right, here's another small school right at 10 feet. There's another school. This one's about 15 feet. Big swarm of shad, thousands of shad. Another school right at 15, right around 10, 15 feet. Okay, whenever you see this, look how the, the, they're not on the bottom like every other school, and they're up top. That tells you something's eating them. Some predator is pushing, up, pushing them up top. I got some good ones. These are good for blue that, catfish. That one is big. Yeah, there's a lot of big ones in here. Here we go. Come on, here you go, buddy. All right, another healthy channel cat, man. These things are putting up a massive fight. They must be in aggressive feeding mode because they are feisty. Look at that, Tommy, see that? He's got that nasty sore on him. Oh, that's gross. All right, let's get him in the bag. Well, it's been quiet. I haven't caught a fish in about 15 minutes. Um, so it's kind of tapering off. 
time to go get another spot. That's the first need to weigh up my catfish. See how many pounds of uh, channel cats we got. 27 pounds. We're in about 30 feet of water and there's a lot of fish holding right on the bottom. So hopefully there's some good uh, blue catfish in there somewhere. bad double put this one in the bag look at this though man that guy is built like a uh, blue catfish and colored like a blue catfish but look at that anal fin that is a round anal fin and it's shorter too so that is a channel catfish Check this out guys. This is a peebled, a peebled catfish. Peebled catfish? See, yeah, see look at his fins. See his dark spots? He's peebled. It's a, it's a color mutation. Sometimes they'll cover their whole body. Look at that, he's got little birth marks. That's the first one I've ever caught. I've seen lots of pictures of them. It's, uh, it's like being an albino or something. It's just a type of color mutation. This is just a very slight one, but still cool. In the bag we go. Look at that. Can't believe this little channel cat engulfed that massive piece of shad. All right. Channel catfish. Oh, it's a fat one. Another fat channel catfish. Oh. The fish in the bag. Channel cat. All right, in the bag. Okay, I have completely lost count of how many fish we got in that bag. Another fat channel cat. Man, ton of them in this hole. I don't consider them a big channel until they're too big for me to put my hand around this way. If I can pick them up this way, they're average or small. This is a big one. Nice. It started to rain, so I just threw a blanket over Nathan. He's good to go. Another channel catfish. All right, we're gonna pull up the keep net and see how many pounds of channel catfish we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen fish. Let's see, we got 27 pounds in the first spot and spent about an hour there. And then we spent an hour and a half here and got 86 pounds. So that's a total of 113 pounds in two and a half hours. Not too bad. Fortunately, none of them were blue catfish, which a little bit of a letdown, but a great day fishing nonetheless. But uh, boys are zonked out and mom just called me and She's back at the house wondering where we're at. So I think we're gonna call it a day and uh, see if we can't get on some blue catfish another time.
Well guys, a lot of time has passed since I started the 300 pound catfish challenge and it has been a long cold winter, but spring is here. It's the end of March and it is warm and sunny and beautiful. We got a lot of warm rain earlier this week, which really popped up the water temperature to the low 50s. And today is supposed to be like low 70s. So it is a gorgeous sunny day and I've got the whole crew with me. I've got my boy, Nathan. Say hi, Nathan. Hi. Got my beautiful wife. Hi. We've got Jacob here, who just turned three months old. This is his first fishing trip ever. And then of course, T-Man, Tommy, say hi to the camera, buddy. Hi, Mr. T-Man. We're gonna see if we can't catch a bunch of big blue catfish and finish off this 300 pound catfish challenge. There's plenty of shad, but they all seem to be right around 20 feet. Everywhere we go, the shad are hovering around 20 feet. That's a good load of fish. That's all we need right there. Hey, now all the shad we've seen so far have been flat on the bottom at about 20 to 25 feet. See this school, how it's off the bottom? That's usually a sign that something's eating on them. Catfish will come along and they'll go up to a, get away from predators. So good sign. Go for it, reel them in. Need help? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is a nice fish. Okay, get that in there, buddy. Yeah! Okay, here. Nathan, good job, buddy. That's your new biggest flathead. 22 pounds, Nathan. We're gonna let them go. Nathan, we're letting them go. Say bye-bye. 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 Go for it. Tommy, go for it. Go for it. It's a big one. Go for it. This is way stronger oh. than <laughs> Keep pulling. Keep pulling, Tom. Woo, it's a blue catfish. Hurry up. Here, hold on to him. Uh, uh, Woo. Woo, hey Nathan, Nathan, there's another fish. That's a Nathan, go get that fish. It's so heavy, you fall. Oh, oh man, look. Let's look at that. I think that's so heavy, it here, could break my arm off. Here, we're gonna put him in the, the weighing sling here. Yeah. Oh, there's a name. 28 pounds, 28 pound blue catfish. Nathan's got him. Your brother needs your help. Oh, I think that's another. Is that a blue catfish? That's another blue. He's covered all in mud too. He's just woke up. Look at that, another blue catfish. That's your first blue catfish. Yeah. Good job, buddy. I got my weighing sling hanging over the boat here. Gonna let that blue catfish breathe and relax for a little bit. He had a tough fight. Once he's had a little time in the water, we'll pull him out and take pictures. Oh, I haven't even had a chance to rebate my lines yet. Go get him, man. Go get him. Good job, bud. Not a bad channel catfish. Yeah. Good job. High fives, bud. Good job. Well, this has been fast and furious, guys. Uh, we've been out for about an hour. It's a lot of action in an hour, so not too bad. You gotta love springtime. All right, Tom, shall we go get pictures with your catfish? Yes, where is it? Yeah, he's still in the bag. He's just chilling down there. This is a muscular fish. Whew, put your arms out. Uh, I can't hold it. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you think, buddy? Is that a fun? Was this a fun fish? Yes. Oh. Oh, oh, buddy, high five. Good stuff. I'm gonna drink the focus on drinking, okay? Nice. Oh. oh, look at this. My goodness. Oh, yeah. 45. What a beautiful fish. What a beauty. 45 pounds of blue catfish awesomeness. It's pretty, uh, it's a great fish for this body of water. Oh. Woo. Yeah, he chewed up my knuckles. I really need to find where my right glove was. <laughs> oh, another nice fish. Another nice blue 
29. 29 pounds. Just a bit heavier than Tommy's. It's that lovely time of year when the blues are out and playing. Man, it's rare to catch a blue catfish in this body of water, let alone catch four of them in one day. This is amazing. So not bad for about an hour and a half. How's little Jacob doing? All this fishing's tuckering him out. Yeah. That guy's so tied up he can't move, him, move a fin. Look at that. He just hook, got hooked and then spun and spun and spun. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to weigh him. We'll, 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 we'll call him three pounds. Let's call him three pounds. I'm already done with my channel catfish part of the challenge anyways, but I keep forgetting to weigh the channel cats. Well guys, I'm really glad I did this. I know a lot of you have been asking when I was gonna finish up the 300 pound catfish challenge. And I really was just waiting until the water temperature warmed up a little bit. And uh, finally, we've got a decent day and we were able to get out here and give it a go. And it's just been awesome. That's the way it is on these big bodies of water is each of the fish have their own little migratory patterns with the seasons. And just knowing those patterns and being in the right yeah. places at the right time of year. Say bye-bye. Bye -bye. You're the lucky one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video series because it was really fun to shoot and we had a ball making it. If you'd like to see more videos like this from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking how my wife's been doing, and I'm proud to say that she she's slowly getting better. Still, still recovering, but uh, we've been very blessed. At any rate, thanks for watching, and check out our other YouTube channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where I post all my non-fishing outdoor videos and vlogs. I'll put a link in the description. Hey, Jacob, did you have a good day? Did you enjoy your fishing trip? <laughs>